Hey guys, Rescue here. I'm back. Uh, we got a new scenario after the crushing defeat of last time. So Mogur comes to you sporting a dour expression. There are more warriors than usual claiming, claiming illness lately. I don't think they're faking it. I've seen them vomiting or stumbling around. Humans seem to be suffering from something too. Uh, I, I think it might be the dredge. Something, something to do with the dredge. I said that very slow. Can't prove anything, but I think some of the rations may have been poisoned. Before you can respond, he continues, "Don't spread paranoia. Maybe nothing. I found nothing wrong with the food. Most of us aren't ill. What do you think?" Um. Mm, threaten the group. No need to foster suspicion over stomach aches. Let blow over. It might not be the food. See if you can find some other connection. I mean, it might not be the food, so let, let's look into that. A couple hours later, Mugger comes to you again. I don't see any pattern in it. Some of the sick have faced dredge, while others haven't. Some admit to feeling tired, while others are well rested. Aside from the pains, I don't know. You both agree to keep an eye out for anything unusual. It's disease. They all have leprosy. We are going to die. Ha! No, I'm sure it's nothing that bad. Most uh, One rushes back as you cross the hilltop. Out of breath, dredge that direction. You overhear them tell Luden about a day away. They found a village. Um. Okay, they're tearing the place apart, he says. Maybe a thousand of them or more. Looking for gods, you know what? This will be a bigger fight than usual. Luden is uncharacteristically silent, waiting to see what you say. Um, we can get closer. Draw some of them forward and split them. We're here to kill Dredge. He sent a small group of shield bangers to get their attention. They do. Half a day later, many Dredge are giving chase up the hill in their plotting sort of way. You get ready to lay waste. We outnumber them. The fight seems inevitable. Charge! I am completely confident in this. We're not going to loot. However, no loot. As much as it is tearing my soul to pieces to say it... Oh, look, I've got a dead pixel right down there. You guys can see that pixel there. I can't. Um. Oh. <laughs> wow, look at this. Just the way that this... This is cool. I love... Have I said this enough? I love this game it is it is something okay a human and a shield banger or not shield banger uh, and a warhawk to each side here there and there and then uh, Hakan and Mogur will take the brunt of the force again. Hmm. This guy. And after him is there. Okay. Let's analyze this. Him. But Ira can move before that. Okay. We're gonna go for a bold tactic here gonna do the same thing to them that they do to us sun or hmm what kind of attack can we do uh, sundering impact what does it do Plus 100% to hit, plus 1 strength, plus 1 break to target. Okay. That was very effective. See, see what happens when we put a little thought into it. Okay, so this... No? You? You? So this guy's next. And then...
Okay. So I'm guessing this guy and this guy. If we move him, say, um, you know, put him in harm's way with this guy, but then Gunolf can get down and smash up right here. Though it may take, or no, right there. Yes. Okay. Then bring the pain him. Break the armor. Yes, 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 yes. Use that willpower. Tempest, clockwise, is this way. Yep. Oh, this is good. They knocked him back. Knocked his shield down, too, but... That knockback is deadly. Oh! They've got splinter on him, don't they? So... Uh, Jason Dredge also take damage when hit for three armor damage or more. Hmm. Okay, they've got that all under control over there. I want this guy here. Break that armor. I want that robot exposed and weak and vulnerable and killable. Yes. Slay him. Maeve, uh, yeah, we held Bercy too far back and now he is useless, so to revise, we need to pay more attention to that in the future. What kind of range have we got? Can't fire now. Um, if we move here, that should put us within range. Then, yeah, take down his armor. Stay along the outside. Hmm. I don't know, we played this really well, I feel. So, depending on how the rest of it goes, we'll make a call on whether or not to loot this time. Okay, Sundering Impact won't do us any good. There we go. Is he off to summon, guys? We are going to have to stop that. Oh, can we stop that, though? Can we even stop it? Um, hmm. Or no, no. How do we handle this? You, you're going next. So here, move over here. Hopefully, that'll get this guy to either move in or out. Which will open space for Gunulf or close it off so he can hit them there. They're all retreating. Okay. Yeah, go here. Then. Whirlwind there. Yep. Okay. That kept that guy down and dead, and this guy too. All appears to be in order. And then we've got, uh. This guy should have enough willpower. Take him down. Yes! Irik, you have. Served us well. Oh. Okay, Bercy, save Gunolf's hide here. He has gotten into trouble. They're all just beating on Gunolf. 
This is this is some nonsense right here. Sure, why not? Let's take a chance. Okay. Yursa, you're useless. Like all the other humans in this game. Except for Rook and Alette and probably the other people that they're gonna meet. Other than that, they're all useless. Okay. That means that Oh, if oh, Gunolf's down. Oh. Oh. So our heavy hitter is gone. Uh, that I mean Considering how how well he did, I don't think we could have played it any other way. That was better. I misclicked there. Okay, Rally, who's got no willpower? You have no willpower. No. Hakan. Hakan needs it. Hakan has somehow managed to stay alive. Of course, Gunolf, our champion, is done, but... Hakan's alive. Yes, and then Tempest, and we're gonna be great, and it's gonna be good, and amazing, and awesome, and we're gonna kill it. Oh, the one's down. Okay, time to slay. Nope, not gonna work. Slag and burn that space then. No, you can't do anything. You're useless. Get out of here. No one can do anything. This is... I suppose I can't complain, though. Okay. There we go. Oh, wait. We didn't use the horn. The magic horn. Take a moment to survey the battlefield. The enemy is being pushed back all the way down the line. You can take this opportunity to pull back and leave combat immediately. On the other hand, chasing down more dredge. No, it like doubled the amount. Pull back before they regroup. The dredge give you wide berth and scatter into the distance. We lost one fighter and four vile. That was actually, that was pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Less renowned than the last time. We kept more of our guys alive. Or, no. Do we want to camp? Let's take a look at Hakan's injuries. Or, not Hakan. Hakan. It's always Hakan. Gunolf. Strength is, like, your big thing, so... Okay, maybe... Maybe we won't do level 4 yet for you. Moger is overdue on a promotion. Sure. Level 3. Our shield master. The shield is serving you well. We need some more exertion on you, and then bumping the shield can't hurt. Bercy. You do indeed deserve a promotion. Now, there we go. We're going to want to pump his strength because it seems like for being a Warhawk, he is still low on that stat, at least compared to Gunolf. Okay. Then Luden is still useless. I'm... The goal is to keep him weak and vulnerable for the ultimate goal. Uh, um, uh, um, for the ultimate goal of beating him when he turns bad. Uh, uh, so, we will go with that. Still don't want to talk to Yursa because she's weird and you. Let's leave! Excuse me, one second. Okay. Uh, so we got to the village, and we'll see what we're doing here. 
of our approaches. We had words earlier, says Gris. You call Clemia. He wants to work for every party member we get. Uh, you've got one shot. You understand? You tell him to report to Mogur. I don't sit in the back lines. Make a mistake and you'll get your head caved in. Nobody will lose sleep over it. He nods and goes to sleep. Or sleep? Speak with Mogur. Okay. Either way, I've been Erskig. Y'all have been fantastic. Gonna end uh, um, here. More of the Banner Saga coming soon. I'm probably gonna take maybe a 30 minute break from recording and then I'll be back to do some more. Gonna do some more uh, Saints Row the Third with Fat Guy Talks tomorrow. Looking forward to it. Bringing back the, st uh, the uh, Street Sweeper of Justice. We will see how it goes. Also, I need to work on speaking more clearly. If I have done more uhs and ums in this episode than usual, then that is because I've been out of practice, and last time I recorded, I did it for three hours, and all the footage was lost. Either way, I've been Erskine. Y'all have been fantastic. That was an extremely long-winded outro. Bye bye